All right, if you are thinking about moving to Fort Walton Beach and you're the social type, this video is the one for you. We're gonna go over um, areas to live in, near downtown Fort Walton Beach as well as seeing downtown itself. So let's get to it and show you around. We're gonna start with a starter home right here in the downtown Fort Walton area, close to just about everything. We'll talk about it as we go, but let's go ahead and start the tour and uh, we'll just get going. All right. Let's go. So this is a three bedroom, one bathroom home. It is around 1200 square feet listed for 348. Now the cool thing about this, if you do like the downtown life, it is only a 15 minute walk to the landing. So even a little bit closer to some of the restaurants, about probably 13 to 15 minute walk to Publix. So you're close to all the things, but let's get inside and see this house. So this house is really indicative of a typical house in Fort Walton Beach. It's built in 1957. So it is, it once had a garage and they've, they've made that into a, a living space. It is smaller bedrooms, a smaller floor plan. Like we said, it's only 1200 square feet, but it's all the bedrooms are in one size side. Your living area is over here. And like I said, they put the garage into another living space. Cause this is kind of tight for modern day furniture. So you've kind of got two options now. So let's go to the bedrooms first. Um, it's only one bathroom. Um, I've got a little closet here and then you've got bedroom, 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 bathroom. So they're all roughly 10 by 10. Um, you do have the nice linoleum. This house has been very much updated, so it's not a 1957 look anymore. <laughs> That makes me feel even taller because I can touch the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have upgraded to the bathroom. Yeah, That's cool. it's really nice. And I like that they put all the tile on the wall so you don't have to deal with mildew and all that good stuff. Yeah. So they updated the kitchen as well with a nice tile backsplash, really pretty granite. It's not huge, but they gave you enough space to where, you know, with the smaller family that would be in this house, you still have enough room to, to do some food prep. So this is one thing that you're gonna notice a lot in these older homes, so watch your step. So this is lower, because it is the garage, and obviously we wouldn't want, you know, flooding or anything from whatever happens in the garage into the house. But they basically took this wall, which was the garage door, they closed it up, so now you've got a nice big living space. Then, same in true typical fashion, there's not, oh, there's a light. Let's turn it on. So this is where your laundry is, your water heater's back here. Typically this would have been the front end of your garage. And then because it is a garage, there is a door to the outside, but we're gonna go this way outside. Cause there's a fun little surprise back here. I like surprises. Yeah. That's oh, a big backyard. It is is a really that big the backyard. surprise? Nope. Turn to your right. Ooh. So, like we said, we are only 15 minutes to the sound. So if you wanted to go take a dip into the Gulf, you can come back home and shower off before you go inside. So kind of cool. Ooh, it's like a rain shower head too. Yeah. So what would be even cooler is if you took this big backyard and you put a pool in and then you could take all the chlorine off and before you went inside, but. Yeah, you definitely have the room for it. Yeah, it's huge and it's nice and open too. They took, took down some of the trees, but. Yeah, so this is a typical home close to all the fun stuff to go see and do for 348. So now that we've seen kind of a starter home, we actually had two other homes for you originally. Yeah, uh, they kind of fell, yeah, they kind of fell through at the yeah. last second. So we're gonna be showing you guys some of the grounds and we're definitely gonna show you guys downtown. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, you've seen downtown before, but this is going to give you another look at all the new fun stuff that has, uh, you know, gone up since. Yeah. So let's go do some drive-bys of other properties. Let's do it. All right, so we are at Perry and First Street. The downtown area is pretty much over there. That is Publix. So we're gonna show you um, some residential options on, I guess the east end, if you will, of downtown. I will. 
Okay, great. <laughs> so these are mostly going to be single family detached and then townhomes um, and all within walking distance, but it's cute little neighborhoods. What's a big huge tow truck in the way? Somebody's getting towed. There's also some cool condos out here that are right on the water, as you're gonna see mm -hmm. uh, as we're driving. So here's some different townhomes. So this one in front of us, actually, there is one for sale in there, um, listed in the $800,000, yeah, range. And a lot of these town, these condoms over here, you cannot short-term rent. Some of them you can do um, what's called mid-term renting, so one month or more, but most of them are gonna be either um, yearly rentals or they're actually... Six months or more. Yeah. So all of these back up to the water. The one we just passed is brand new. So if you're looking for something with lots of garage space, that's a good one. Yeah. Should we turn that down? Yes, thank you. You can see we've got a mix of brand new homes, some, I'd say around 2,000 homes, and then 1970s. What's that little guy? Maybe we'll get lucky and see the neighborhood fox. There's a little, there's a little fox in this neighborhood that just roams around. It's basically limited to like these hundred homes, give or take, in this huh. generalized area. And someone's feeding them. Yep. Most likely. But it's a well-established area. You don't have sidewalks or anything like that, but the streets are pretty wide. And there's actually a little biking path right there. <clears throat> and then I know there's a couple different boat ramps as well, kind of scattered throughout. I don't believe there's an HOA over here, right? Nope. I don't think so. This entire area is HOA free and uh, it is golf cart friendly. So as long as you're south of Hollywood, even north of Hollywood in Elliott's Point, which is basically where we're at, we're kind of in the south end of Elliott's Point, technically, um, although we generally just consider it downtown Fort Walton housing, um, because all of this stuff that we're going through right now is a quick drive right to downtown in your golf cart. So while you're in downtown, you'll see golf carts from time to time. It's not. It's not as prevalent as it is in like 30A or some of our other areas, but it is still prevalent enough that you're gonna see them. Yeah. Someone's building a volleyball court. This is Bay Drive. Everything that we're seeing in front and to our right once we turn will be uh, more waterfront homes, just like we were just seeing. Yeah. We're just on the other side of the bay at the moment. And most of the homes in this area are going to be at least in the 500K and up for the most part. Yeah, some of the older builds, very similar to what we just walked you guys through that 1957 home. Some of those are gonna be a little bit cheaper. You can yeah. generally start getting in those in the high 200s in this area. Um, of course, Fort Walton Beach in general, you can start finding a three bed, two bath home at around, I mean, 250. Yeah. ish it, it can, kind of on the low end there you're not going to see as many um but that's where you're going to start seeing them. the price is just a little bit higher in this generalized area yeah. and it's because you're close to that downtown area and the water you know we've actually got uh water access just up here on the right uh this road that we're about to come across here is hollywood so this is kind of the main divider between North Elliott's Point and South Elliott's Point. Um, and this is where we consider the end of downtown, essentially. So you can kind of see, I'm gonna pull in here. 
So it's nothing crazy, it's just a small, small little access here. Uh, but if you were taking a walk, or as this lady's doing, she just wants to kind of like chill here. Um, it's what a lot of the residents do. Yeah. So now we're gonna take you over to the actual downtown area. We're gonna downtown. walk around downtown. Um, we're gonna walk around a couple of the condo options back on Brook Street, and then don't forget that in a little while we're going to show you what downtown actually looks like and take a view of the take a walk, take a view, take a walk of the restaurants and whatnot. Yeah. So actually real quick while we're here, this road that we just passed is from one of our past videos. So if you guys are looking to see a little bit more of the Elliott's Point area, including Ferry Park, I believe in that video, we have all the Ferry Park stuff. So we'll link that right here or up top in the little gray bar that pops out. So if you guys wanted to click that and set that aside for after this video, you can definitely do that. We'll also have it linked at the end of this video as well. So you guys can uh, kind of see this area if you wanted to see more of it. So this is kind of a typical condo that you'll find downtown. We're only, see that red building? That is the heart of downtown, if you will. Um, they're gonna be low density buildings. This building runs around $400,000 and your HOA is right around five to $600 a month, um, but it is on the sound, so there is water access. So we're gonna kinda just walk around, just kinda get a feel for something that you might be able to get downtown. Sweet. And this one's called Miramar Place. Miramar it is right behind Place. the Northwest Florida Ballet Academy and Ali's Bistro, which has great brunch, mimosa brunch. Yes, so Ali's Bistro, literally right behind us. Yeah. Amazing food, really good Italian. And then, like Kristen said, the Ballet Center is pretty cool. Yep. Um, if you're looking for something very specific for your children um, to go to, uh, I've heard really good things. I've had multiple, yeah. multiple clients, multiple friends have their kids there. So, yeah. scholastically, um, it's great, and obviously for dance, it's great. Yeah. Oh, it's so right here, here. I kind of show you. This is just mainly used as an example to show you like what the condos back here are going to be like. There's a bunch of these kind of hidden around um, that are a little bit smaller, like this right here on the sound. And then, of course, a lot of them are going to have a little bit easier access to the sound as well. Like we're going to, um, so we're going to try to get you into sale watch as well. But they do have a gate that we don't have a code to. The people that we were trying to show uh, their unit didn't uh, didn't get back to us in time. Yeah. So um, we're going to try to show you as much as possible. But like generally, this whole area here that we're looking at is going to be. You'd have like a little dock or at least a little boardwalk of some sort. Yeah. So that's why these ones are a little bit less expensive, which I know for some of you guys watching, you're going to be thinking, well, these, these can't be all that big. How big are these? About 1200. 1200 square feet, 400 K for 1200 seems pretty high. And so even though these are 400 K for what you're getting, which yeah. doesn't seem like a whole lot, um, it's mainly the locations. So yep. let's check out some of that. So we wanted to show you something that is upcoming. It is not, it's not completely done yet, but it's our buddy's little area here. It's located right next to um, Sail Watch that we're gonna be kind of taking you guys hopefully around the grounds on, but check this out. So this whole area here is going to have a little gazebo, outdoor bar, another little sitting area, and then of course the dock. Um, they're gonna have this, uh, in fact, I believe the boat's sitting out there right now. Yeah, that's one of them. That's going to take people on tours out into Destin, and then you're gonna have your indoor bar set up over here. And then of course, plenty of parking. Again, bear with it, it's under construction currently. So I believe, um, I believe they said it's going to be done nearing the end of the year um, or mid-year, something like that. I'll have to double check with Ben to make sure. But cool little spot. This used to be another little outdoor bar area. Um, but anyway, let's go check out Sail Watch. So they do have it all closed up today, but we wanted to at least show you guys something. So this is a little gated community here. 
It's hard to tell, there's two buildings here. This one is obviously Bayfront, this one is not, so these are a little bit cheaper. They all have their own garages and uh, storage spaces inside as well. And then of course, access to the sound. They have a dock, some of them, um, some of them have dock space, some of them do not. Yep. Let's go see downtown. We're gonna show you guys the downtown area. We are currently passing one of my favorite spots here in downtown though, the Ratchet Hatchet. So if you like to throw axes at wood, you can do that there. Just make sure you go across the street first if you're gonna have any alcoholic beverages and grab what you want because last time I was in there, they didn't have a bar, although they were building one. So maybe it'll be coming in play here soon. Yeah, and fun fact, this little tourist shop here used to be a beach wedding store and uh, 2006, I had, this was my first job living here. Really? Yes. Oh, it's a little piece of crusted inside of here. <laughs> And now look at you, just walking around with a camera. Yeah, being weird. So I haven't actually been in golf tee before, but I've heard this is pretty cool. Oh, you do that as a little group outing, that looks cool. Yeah, yeah it does look cool. So there are tons of restaurants along the downtown area. Um, you've got Brita Del Sol, you've got Fockers, you've got the Donut Parlor, which we're coming up, or Parlor Donut, sorry. Uh, which we're coming up on. Which Amazing. it's more like cake than it is it donuts, is. let's be honest. It is, nasty donuts with all the stuff on top. So, super fun. You got the downtown music hall here. Yeah. There's a couple tattoo parlors. Lots of tattoo places yeah. down here a for sure. couple salons. Burrito Del Sol, if you're into California style burritos and yes. tacos. They have corn or cabbage and just about everything. Yeah. So not my favorite personally. <laughs> Some more restaurants off here to our left. This is a little Mexican place here. Yep. The owner is actually from Guatemala. Pretty cool. And then uh, that's Parlor Donuts right across the way here. Yeah. Right there. This little guy right there. So if you're looking for some crazy donuts. Yes. That's it. So this is a fun little area where they've got the, you can walk back to the landing through here and get your ice cream, get all that good fun stuff. So this is actually, this is actually Casey's Sandbar and right now it's all closed off. We could probably sneak in here real quick. Actually, let's go ahead and sneak in here real quick. Sneak in? Yeah, we're good. I want to sneak. All right. So this Hello, isn't open yet. Hello, follower, Andrew. But this is Casey's Sandbar. We've got Casey's here. You've got the tap works, which is the bottom floor of this building. Uh, Casey's kind of extended into here. They're all owned by the same person or the same group, as well as um, tapas, taste tapas and wine bar. Really, really cool spot right here for some like just really kind of kind of fun and different um, food. And then of course tapas and stuff. Uh, tap works is really good. I think they've got like. Uh, probably 40 or 50 beers yeah, on tap. tap. Yeah. There's always something going on right here behind Kristen um, most nights. And then um, they've got a little food truck here for Casey's. I'm gonna be completely honest, the food truck is not great. <laughs> so if they're doing it out of the food truck, don't eat it. But if they're cooking out of here, definitely eat it. And uh, they do have sand right here from our beaches here. And it'll kind of cover up a good chunk of this even where you kind of see the matting. Whenever it's really busy, you'll start seeing it, but it looks like they've swept it off yeah. recently. Great drinks, um, great drink prices, and then of course, just kind of a cool little spot with the live music going on. It's uh, always pretty popular. And across the street is the public library, which another fun fact, in college there was a bar, where I went to school, there was a bar called the library. So we could tell our parents, no mom, we're not out drinking, we're at the library. Oh geez. <laughs> Oh, they cut on real quick though. Cool little spots here. But I do think it's pretty cool that the public library is right downtown because um, it's accessible for everybody. And then we'll there's take a cool you little, guys here yeah. in just a minute, but there's also a whole series of uh, food trucks over there. Mm -hmm. So we've got a couple little stores along the way kind of selling touristy stuff, but also like home things. 
cowhead. Yep. We've show, showcased cowhead off before. We've also showcased artisanal. This is one of my favorite little art shops. And then cowhead is a great little uh, burger joint for the yep. most part. And then the theater. This is a dollar theater, guys. Yeah, and you can rent it out for parties and things. Yeah, so this is what I'm proposing. We get enough of the folks that watch YouTube to come visit and or when you guys purchase down here, we'll just get you guys out. We'll rent out the whole place. Like They've it. got really good pizza. Their popcorn's Ooh, pretty good. And we can watch our videos on the big screen. <laughs> okay, that, that might be a little much, but uh, I'm kidding, don't I'm kidding, worry, I'm don't worry. We'll get something good out. Yeah. Oh, they finally demolished this. Look, yeah. so this used to be a pretty empty area. Looks like they're building... I don't know what it is, to be honest. Oh, unless they're building more from the museum. Uh, that might be it. But here's some public parking to your left. So we've got public parking. We'll talk about the landing in, in a little bit. That's going to be a, a good little area for you guys to see. And then I probably eat here like once every three say, weeks. one of our favorite restaurants. It's one of our favorite yeah. little spots. And then we've got a surf shop, the boat. And coming up on one of the cutest little things is the Coca-Cola store. Yeah, which I've never been into. Yeah. The guy I think that... we're popping in there today. You guys want to see the Coca-Cola shop? Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, cool. That's what you guys want. <laughs> So cool. Yeah. So what we've got right behind this, actually, let me get that little, you can kind of see the little pillar style thing. This is a uh, Indian burial mound, as I understand it. I've never actually been over there. It's the Heritage Park and Cultural Center. Isn't I've got fun Temple facts mound? if you want. Oh yeah. All right, so over here from the little arch that he showed you, all the way down to that cute little white building, is the Heritage Park and Cultural Center. Um, it's made up, and I'm cheating, but it's made up of the Indian Temple Mound Museum, Camp Walton Schoolhouse Museum, which is the little white building, the um, Garnier Post Office Museum, and then the Fort Walton Temple Mound, and a Civil War um, exhibit in one of the buildings. Um, so a fun fact about the schoolhouse, it has been moved three times. It was originally across the street and down a little ways when it was first built. Then when they basically stopped using it as a schoolhouse, um, somebody bought it up and they moved it a little bit farther north a couple blocks and used it as apartments. And then it came back to where it is now. Um, it used to be all wood and now it's got some brick pieces to it just to um, kind of preserve the building itself. But um, where was that? It, so it, when it was a schoolhouse, it was from 1911 to 1930, which I think is pretty stinking cool. Um, and I've been in there with my daughter's class on a field trip, and it's like little house on the prairie type feel. Like, it's so cool. Um, and then the museum itself is also really cool. It's open to the public. Um, it's I, it, I couldn't find on the website how much it was, but it's really cheap from what I remember. And it's got some really cool artifacts in there, and the people that work there know all the things about all the things. So I highly recommend at least once, if you come down here to visit or come down here to live, to visit it, because it's super, super cool. Cool. I feel like I missed something that I found out that was cool about it. Oh yeah. And then the the Gulf View Hotel. And now it's just called the Gulf View Hotel. Welcome to So this place has been a bar for the whole time pretty much, but it's been like seven different names in the last two years. <laughs> um, but it's really cool inside. They always have live music. It's really spacious. Um, so right now it's called Jake and Henry's. It used to be called The Goat, which I thought was the best name, but pretty cool. Fun little place. Yeah, they've redone the inside since it was The Goat as well. And it looks very fancy in there without breaking the bank on their prices. They are a little bit more pricey. We are downtown after all, um, but for how nice it is in there, it seems like it should be more expensive. Andrew, we're coming up on my favorite little store downtown. Oh. Three dogs and a chick. It is the cutest little pet store with a barkery. I got one of my dogs who's now passed a little birthday cake from there. It was like a little like six inch birthday cake. It was obviously edible for dogs. They make them, um, you can customize them and pre-order them. 
they've got little cookies in there they've got clothes they've got food they've got all kinds of stuff in there it is super super cool this is where i go for little fun treats for my dogs when it's their birthday and stuff because yes i'm that pet parent but it's super cute in there and the ladies they'll do um little rescue um what do you call them like play dates or whatever you want to call them so the, sometimes they'll have dogs in there that are for um, adoption but you can always bring your dog in there or your cat because um, they do have both kind of things in there but it's super cool and they've got um, some of the proceeds on some of the items go towards charities and everything so it's it's super cool the ladies in there are awesome to talk to and work with if you've got like a food allergy for your dog they've got all kinds of stuff in there that's the place I keep telling you about that you're like I don't know what you're talking about so okay So we're coming to the end of downtown, or what's kind of formally considered downtown. Um, and this is the Gulf View Motel. Um, it was also moved just a couple years ago um, from kind of across the street. They shut down Miracle Strip Parkway for about five hours and moved it across. It is now, um, the first floor is a welcome center and then also a Billy Bowlegs Pirate Museum. Um, and then upstairs is all leased office space. But it's pretty cool that they took it from where it was. It used to be a hotel for fishermen and things, and then they repurposed it into something that still keeps the historical aspect of it, but um, still usable. So as we were kind of mentioning earlier with Sailwatch, this is another little example of some of them. And there's a couple of them peppered around here. Yeah. Um, a good chunk of them are on this side. We're actually on the opposite end of where we started before. So, um, you know, we were all the way at the end over there. So this is the start of the landing right here where we are walking, which I'll flip it around here in just a second, um, is where they'll generally do like some of the flea market style yep. stuff. Um, so you'll have a bunch of cool little shops or, you know, people individually, you know, making arts and crafts and selling them or selling uh, honey or what have you. But it's done in this general area. This is also where some of our big events are gonna be here in the area. Um, and they're gonna kind of take up this entire space, not just this area that yep. we're in. And that's gonna be for like tacos and tequila, beer fest, when Billy they're doing the fireworks, legs. Billy Bow Legs. And there's um, the Indian Festival, and Indian Cultural Fe American Indian Cultural Festival, I think is what it's actually called, yeah. um, that they do. And then like you said, the farmer's market. So let's go ahead and pan around, and show you guys kind of what we're talking about here. You got a, a park over here. This is um, just where they do the flea market area, but of course, like I said, the events are gonna take over this entire space. They do family movie nights on Fridays. Um, they'll do different concerts and stuff in the park. A lot of fun stuff. Yeah, the movie nights are actually really cool. Yeah. So they're doing a bunch of construction right now. They had um, this whole like stage over here that they would do it at. They'd bring up this big, uh, this big blow up. Um, screen. Blow up screen. Everybody just comes out here, brings your lawn chairs, your blankets, um, watches a movie every once in a while. I haven't seen them do it in a while, so maybe they lost the contract, I'm not sure. But they would get this big boat that would have this huge screen. Uh, there's a gentleman out in Destin, uh, he rents it out and that's exactly what it is. So uh, they go out the, to the Gulf, uh, which is an actual restaurant uh, not too far away. They'll do there every once in a while and they used to come out here as well. I haven't seen it in a while, so not sure what's going on with yeah. it. Oh, so other fun facts. There's not a ton of parking down here. So when you are coming to say Billy Bowlegs Festival, which is huge, and I know that's a funny name, but it's really cool. If you have to go to it at least once while you're down here, um, there's not a lot of parking. So you have to kind of pre-plan ahead and be prepared to walk from somewhere else to get here. Cause all of this parking will either be completely closed off or taken up by the vendors. So you do have to kind of pre-plan. And real quick, I, I have to tell you guys about Billy Bowlegs, okay? Because it's one of the premier <laughs> things here in our area. I didn't go to it for like eight years when I first moved down here. And I went to it, and it is a blast. Is. If you have kids, try to stay away from the main areas. Don't go to Crab Island on Billy Bowlegs right. Day. People will be chucking beers and stuff like that. Take that bad part aside. 
and it's a really good yeah. time. So basically what they do is they uh, reenact the pirates trying to take over the area that actually happened either here or in Destin. It's kind of unclear. It's, it's kind of the whole area really. But, but the festival itself is very family friendly. Um, they've got a lot of different booths where you can get face paintings and things and like buy the pirate gear and all that stuff. The shops along um, the, the downtown area on the strip there will have little trinkets and things for the pirate swords and the foam swords and all that stuff. It's really, really fun. Um, and then obviously there'll be booths of like different you know, local artisans and food and things like that. But it is really cool. And then they'll do the big pirate ships that'll go through the sound, which is also like really cool. Like with cannons and everything. Looks yeah. like an old pirate ship. And people, awesome. Like some of the adults will do the whole cosplay thing and get dressed up like like it is really really cool. And the pirates will actually come onto shore. So first they fight them off for a while. Yeah. It comes onto shore. That's what starts the parade. And then yep. um, it's basically just a bunch of pirates chasing the mayor out of town. The mayor gets to a certain point, holds his ground, fights back. It becomes this like yeah. whole thing, and then it just basically chases the pirates out of town. They get on their their pirate ship and and take off. Yeah. So definitely super super fun. Yeah. Oh, and a squirrel. <laughs> so the landing has 700 feet of boardwalk. Did you know that? Um, how many feet? 700. Yeah, I knew that. 700. Everybody <laughs> knows that. It's like a thing everybody knows. Oh man, I didn't even know they put a big tree up here every yeah. year. You know that? Um, I did actually. Oh, of I did. I did. I did um, um, Mrs. Christmas. <laughs> That is true. But there are um, public restrooms here. Um, so if, you, if you're if you out and about, and you're having your kids play here and everything else, there are facilities to use. You don't have to pop into one of the restu restaurants. Yeah, whenever they do one of the uh, drinking events out here, beer fest, margarita, whatever the other one, tacos yeah. and tequila, um, they'll have extra porta potties because trust me, it's not enough. This place gets packed. Yeah. Hundreds and hundreds, if not, probably not thousands, right? I mean, it's... Yeah. Kind of a small I area. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not good on people yeah, estimating. I'm not, I'm not good either. <laughs> but as Kristen was saying, the parking lot for this area is right here, and as you will see, not a whole lot going on. No. So you've got some. Excuse the light on this camera. We're sitting here fighting with it with all the shadows and stuff. You'll see another little parking area over here where the boardroom is. We walked by that earlier. Remember, that's that place that I go to once every three weeks or so and then this little parking lot. Yeah. And you can't see it now because we're doing the construction, but they used to have this big stage right here. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the docks and stuff, but the docks got ruined um, or got damaged. So they're Sally, in the yeah. process of fixing that. Yep. But you'll see kids like schools doing um, field trips out here. Um, I actually got to be the witness for a wedding. So that's pretty cool. We did it right here. That's pretty awesome. Nice. Yeah, one of my first couple clients, they're like, can you be the witness? I'm like, heck yeah. So it's pretty cool. We did it just over there, underneath the gazebo. Funny story, we actually just married some people in the office last yeah. week. I'm, a, I'm an officiant as well, and I've done probably about 20 weddings in my officiant career, if you want to call it that. And uh, some of uh, some of my clients and my, my buddies uh, called me up, and uh, it was actually really funny. They called me up out of nowhere, and they were just like, hey man, are you at the office? And I'm like, yeah. They're like, we're four minutes away. We need you to marry us. Is that cool? I'm like... <laughs> Cool. So <laughs> congratulations to you guys if you're watching. Yeah. I just got to be the witness. I didn't get to be the priest. So <laughs> the pastor, officiant, whatever. Hey, Andrew. Yeah. Are you hungry? Yes. Yes. Ooh, boardroom? Yes. Let's go. We're already here. We might as well. All right. So we are back across the street and we are headed to the boardroom. Here's that other area of public parking. Oh, cool. Actually, this is good. This is going to be a, um, a brewery. No way. Yeah, so we're going to have a, a brewery yes. right here as well, which they've been popping up and down and uh, all along the Emerald Coast like crazy the last couple of years. So super excited for that. Well, and the boardroom also has great beer. They do.
Thanks for coming on this tour with us of downtown Fort Walton. If you guys are thinking of moving to the area, all of our information will pop up on the screen. And as promised, we're going to have that other video pop up here in just a second. So if you'd like to see more of this generalized area, then that will be for you. I guess we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.